Sometimes you feel like a prisoner of your past, a prisoner of your feelings, a prisoner of life. And you find yourself thinking about when is one ten, when you're getting your check. I know when you're gonna get your respect. What is the most underrated things in life? Definitely clarity. It is difficult to be clear of thought when being pulled in so many different directions. These directions can become a huge distraction from whatever your goal is. Especially in my case, which is creative freedom. What have I been up to? Like I just lately I just been shooting all the pictures, photos everywhere. But that prompted me to ask myself like what is my creative identity? Now it's time to build, but what can't I see that I really ought to be aware of? It's a question that I ask myself, like I've been fighting up with that for a while. But is this conducive to the goals I have, or am I just putting too much pressure on myself? It's another question. But funny enough, by never going 100% on anything, you give yourself this mental cushion that you can rely on, the perfect excuse, which is in quotations. I didn't really try. <laughs> it's how we think when you say, I didn't, I didn't really try, I didn't really try. That song real cool. That need to change, yo. All this delayed gratification thing sucks, like. Take it from me, I thought about having to embrace this stuff, however, I remember my last year, I tried to go 100 days without taking any days off and 45 days in, the boy was done. So then I wonder, I wonder if I just lazy boy or I just busy enough not or not busy enough to care. And then I realized that usually with things I usually like a front runner, I start off real hard and burn myself out and then start the process all over. So of course I decided to do some research on my phone here and according to Barry Michaels, a uh, psychotherapist and psychiatrist, Phil Stutz, uh, excuse my pronunciation of the name, because actually taking action on the dreaded task inspires a certain amount of pain, you put all focusing on that task to avoid whatever uncomfortable feelings it inspires. AKA, he just, he just be running from his sock. Like, if, the, if that makes sense on that oldie, the fancy word. Of course, that was a blow to my ego. I keep running, I keep don't want to admit that I'm running from the, the suck, basically. So then I realized I just like to get inspired, start something new, enjoy it for a while, stop when uninspired, start the cycle all over again, start getting inspired, do something uninspired. <laughs> like It's just very cyclical now, right? and I don't think I'm alone in that case, but not anymore. To break this cycle, I had to reframe or change the way I deal with new things that I take on. So. I started making decisions off our principles and not just off how I feel. The thing is with commitment for me is like, I didn't want to commit to anything because it, it always feels like commitment is like a limitation. However, having a limitation or if you want to call it that, might still be better than giving up on yourself or lacking self mastery over a long period of time. If this cycle continues, I'll just end up being somebody who Talk about the past, how I used to be, how things was, how things should have been. And in summary, I just realized that true strength is the ability to stay in the game.
in order to free yourself you just have to take control over your life